Hi there, welcome to another Kevy Shaves. It's very nice to have you here. Um, today is a continuation of my Shave Den tour. Uh, in this part, we're going to look at razors, brushes, and blades. So let's go and open one of these drawers that's um, inside this cabinet and we'll have a look and we'll see what's in there. Okay, so you've seen in that drawer, so that's my razors and brushes. Uh, the first razor I'm going to show you is this. This is the Fat Tip Grande. Uh, this is a, a very aggressive razor. It's, a, it's an open comb razor, um, as you can see the head on it there. It's beautifully made. Um, it has the hollow handle. Uh, the Fat Tip Piccolo is solid, so it has a bit more weight, but this is the Fat tip grand, and it's a, a three piece razor. It comes apart like so, and it's, um, it's beautifully made. It has a lined handle, and that's the Fat tip grande, as you can see. Um, it's not got a blade in it, but it does have quite a lot of blade exposure. It is quite an aggressive razor, and I, I, I really like these. Um, long posts underneath. Really nice. And I just want to show you these things that I keep my razors in. This is um Hello. <laughs> this is a toothbrush holder I got out of uh, a store in the UK. Uh, I can't remember what the name of it. It's like a stationer's. Um, it's called... Nope, can't remember. <laughs> and it goes like that and I just set my razors in it like that and it's... It, uh, yeah, it's nice to keep them in there like that. So that's the first one, the Fat Tip Grande. Uh, the second one, this is a Gillette Tech. Um, I think I showed this in a previous video. I've used this, um, and you can see it's a little bit up on the on the handle, but it's a, still a very good shaving razor and it has Gillette on the head there. Very, very light, um, but a, a very mild razor, but you put the right blade in it and it gives you a great shave. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's the Gillette Tech. Nice little razor. Uh, the next one, this is uh, the Mercur 34C. This is uh, one of my favourite razors, the old Faithful, as I like to call it. Yeah, sorry, the uh, Gillette Tech, that's a three-piece razor. Um, I just, the handle screws off and it comes apart like that. For anyone that's <clears throat> interested. Yeah, so back to the Merker 34C. Uh, this is a two-piece razor. What you do, you screw the bottom like that and the head comes off. Pop the blade on there, put it back in and screw it down tight. And that's a fantastic razor. I really enjoy using that. That was the first razor I bought. Uh, there's the head on it. Not very aggressive, not very mild, just a very nice comfortable shave. It always gives me. So that's the Merker 34C HD. Um, this one is the Wilkinson Sword Classic. This is a two-piece razor. You unscrew the handle and the top comes off like that. And you need to be careful because it does have a plastic thread, if you guys can see that. Yep. Uh, so you just pop it back in there and 
screw the handle back on and it's plastic, this is a plastic razor but it has metal in the handle uh, just to give it a bit of weight very mild shaver but very good and there's no blade exposure at the end because it's all sealed um, if you guys can see that there look sealed at both ends so there's no blade sticking out to catch your ear so that's a Wilkinson Sword Classic very good razor the next one I'm going to show you is uh, in here this is a range leather case and this is the Merker Future and I've just popped the head off it but there we go uh, Merker Future adjustable very aggressive razor but um, gives you a nice shave again sealed at the ends and to put the blade in you pop the cap off sit it on there um, and then put the cap back on and you can then adjust it to whichever number suits you which you, if you can see it there so there's number one to six um, it's not going to focus is it there we go one to six very heavy razor um, nice to hold but a, a very aggressive shaving razor um, not one for beginners but um, I enjoy it occasionally <laughs> okay that's the Merker Future the next one that's in um, this little leather pouch is this and I keep a little bit of um, I keep a little bit of uh, bubble wrap just around the, the top head because it once that clips in I just want it, I don't want it to mark this is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements um, double open comb and there's the head on it, it's beautiful it looks like a very aggressive razor but um, it's not really aggressive it's not mild but it's not terribly ag aggressive, it's not as aggressive as the Future or the Fat Tip Grande and there's the handle on it quite nice and again you unscrew the handle this is a three piece razor and it comes apart like that and it goes together and you screw the handle back on quite a short handle but um, I like it the good thing about it is you can you can swap handles out um, if you want to put a heavier handle on this you can um, I actually bought this handle uh, from eBay, I think it's a Windrose handle and I used to change the handle that was on the Phoenix Artisan double open comb I used to change it over for this for this handle and um, it just gives it an extra bit of weight yeah quite a substantial bit of weight but then I decided well it came with that handle so I'm just going to keep the original handle on it, I think I prefer it and it has a nice grip so that's the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements double open comb uh, the next one I'm going to show you is the Merker Progress this is a, an adjustable razor very nice, the head on it is nice yeah gives me a great shave, one of my, probably one of my favourite razors along with the, the 34C and there's um, little bits on the bottom which hopefully you can see, you turn the dial um, you turn the dial and it adjusts 1 to 5 and turn it down and it just, when you're turning it, look you can see the the head lifting up to expose more of the blade. Uh, this is a two piece razor, comes off like that, kind of like the 34C. Pop it back in, uh, but the thing you need to watch is the, there's a little line on this side that you need to line up with that arrow. Can you see it there? 
yeah so there's just a little line on that that you line up with that arrow to make sure that it's um, the right way around but it's a fantastic shaving razor I really like it and I have it in the the long handled version um, really comfortable to hold I really like that that's American Progress okay the next one is this um, this is the Mule or Mule R41 and I have it in uh, rose gold. Comes in this box. I'll just take out the box for you to just, just to let you guys take a closer look. Probably the most aggressive razor out there at the moment. But it's the build quality on this is absolutely outstanding. It is beautiful. I have it in the rose gold and it has if you can see the bottom there, it has, um, where are we, Muley. Very nice, very well constructed, not too heavy, not too light, it's a three piece razor and you can actually feel the quality even in the thread of the, uh, the handle. So that goes in. And so that's the Mule R41. Very, very aggressive razor. Don't know if it's, it might probably be on a par with the uh, Merker Future in terms of aggressiveness. But it gives you a fantastic shave. You, if you're careful with it and put not too sharp a blade in it, um, yeah, it gives a very, very good shave. I love it. It's very, very nice in the rose gold. Very nice. That's the Mule R41. <clears throat> the next one is this, which is the Edwin Jagger DE89. Uh, and this one is this one has the 3D handle, 3D laser diamond handle, which you guys have seen before, I'm sure. And uh, I've used this quite a bit. This is a fantastic shaving razor. Again, the construction on this and the build quality is fantastic from Edwin Jagger, a, a UK uh, razor maker. And you can see it around there. Edwin Jagger, yeah. Beautiful build quality. Nice weight, lovely handle to, to grip. Um, if you can see the knurling on that is fantastic. Really nice. That's the Edwin Jagger D89. Uh, the other one, this this little, this is another Gillette Tech, and it comes in this tin. And I'll just um, I have the handle just so it doesn't get scraped in the tin. I have it in a little bit of bubble wrap. Um, here's the handle and the head. And the handle go together like this, and this is a a Gillette Tech. This is a Gillette Tech ball end, and you can see because of the the ball, it looks like a ball on the end. Um, this is in fantastic condition. Very nice razor, three piece, very mild. Same as the um, the other Tech, but slightly different. If you guys can see um, pretty much the same head but slightly different design on the handle yeah fantastic razor and uh, I'll just take this off and put this together and show you the tin that it comes in and here's the tin and there's the Razor and the head that's in there, and there's a couple of blades in there as well. Very nice. So that's the Gillette Tech. Um, the other one, this is a Parker 24C. And I'll just show you this. Comes in this nice box. This is a an open comb razor. Kind of a, along the lines of the, the fat tip, but it doesn't have the long posts. 
but the head kind of looks similar. Maybe not. Maybe the the combs aren't quite as long, but the handle on this, if you can see that the the knurling on that, and it's kind of designed like a hexagonal shape. It's um very nice to hold, a nice long handle. Um, here it is against the the progress, so it's probably about the same length as a long handled progress. But the uh, the grip on this is excellent, and it's a three piece razor, and it unscrews, comes apart like that. And the build quality on this from Parker, these uh, these razors are made in India, and it's absolutely fantastic. It's a lovely weight, nice length of the, for the handle, uh, beautiful head on it. Some people have had issues in the past with Parker, but I think they've upped their game a little bit in terms of quality, the quality control, so yeah, that's a very nice razor. So that's the Parker 20, uh, 24C. Uh, I have another Parker, this is the 76R, uh, and this is a this is a twist to open razor. Um, just take it out of the box. So here it is here, I think I've showed this in another video. The head on these, kind of similar to a a vintage Gillette head and what you do is you twist the bottom of the razor and the doors open and there's the quality on it there and they close uh, and again this is a, a very nice razor it's kind of the handle is similar to the um, the Edwin Jagger maybe not quite as pronounced knurling but quite nice very comfortable to hold quite a mild razor, not too aggressive, not too mild, but just really nice and uh, I really like it for the, the twist to open. Yeah, a nice razor. So that's the Parker 76R. Um, the other razor, oh, I have this. Uh, I've showed this before, which is, a, I think it was in my neglected. I got this from um, at shaving station. This is a straight razor but I've never used it and I've looked it up and um, to be honest it doesn't get the best reviews. It's a uh, men rock but I don't understand their packaging on this. Like you get a nice good looking guy selling a razor and he has a beard. Yeah. <laughs> so um, here's the razor here. I don't know whether you guys can see that. Um, it's not really focusing, is it? Yeah, it's. Um, I don't know what kind of wedge that is, or I don't. I've not really studied sort of straight razors as such yet. There we go. Yeah, so that's um, that's it there. It's a men rock. I don't know. I'm not going to use it because I, I think it needs honed and sharpened and stuff. So. I don't want to risk it just yet. Um, the last razor is this. Uh, it comes in this little Merker case and it's the 37C, the slant. Uh, this is again almost the build quality is uh, kind of exactly the same as the 34C but except the head has a slant on it which you can see there. Um, some people say the slants are very aggressive or quite an aggressive razor but um, I find it to be very 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 efficient um, it's never bitten me yet touch wood <laughs> and this is a two piece razor again you just unscrew it and it comes off like that and you put it back in and tighten up the bottom and that's it there but it's a slant razor so it's um, very nice and the build quality again, lovely. Nice knurling on the handle. Yeah, the Merker 37C. This is the, the short handle. You do get it in a longer handled version, which is good. Okay, on to brushes now. Um, <clears throat> this is the, the first brush I bought. This is the Amiga S brush. And this is a synthetic brush. Um, it was okay. 
It's, I think I, I think it was Buster that that um, recommended these, but I actually bought the one with the longer loft. Um, I think the one he recommended had quite a shorter knot in it, so it's really quite it's quite a bit floppy. Um, it's not I don't use it much at all now. Actually, I've, I, I hardly ever use it, but um, I'm just going to keep it for sentimental reasons as uh, being the first brush that I bought uh, as part of my starter shaving kit. So that's the Amiga S brush, which you can see there. Um, the next brush is the one I've used most recently, I think, in a video anyway, is this the, the Satin Tip the Purist. And this was a, a very, very kind gift from Alex de Leon. And here's the brush here. Fantastic little brush. Um, synthetic, lovely soft bristles and it comes in the black bristles and the handle has a kind of um, rubberized feel to it which is very nice fantastic little brush okay next brush um, you'll notice I keep my brushes in these which are the middle of a toilet roll and the reason I keep them in there is uh, I find when I put them away once they're dry I find that the um, it holds their shape. If you if you just um, put them in like that, it'll just keep the knot together, not too tight, but um, it just kind of makes the knot hold its shape a bit better. This is the um, Samog 830 bore brush. Fantastic brush. Yeah, uh, lots of people have these bore hair knot dyed band I have it in the red so that's the Samog 830 the next brush is <laughs> the Razor Rock Plus Soft and this is the Italian flag version I got this recently I think I've used it a couple of times and it's a it's a Plisson style knot but it has a bit more backbone than a Plisson um, and I have it in this. I like the handle. I really like the handle on this um, barbershop style handle. So that's the Razor Rock Plus Soft Italian flag. The next one, I don't know what this is. Uh, let's take this off. Ah, this is the, the Big Sterling Kong Stirling Soap Company. This is a monster of a brush. Uh, 26mm synthetic um, eats lather for breakfast this brush fantastic brush really really nice I really enjoy it I've not used it for a while but um, nice handle on it yeah very soft a great brush the next one um, <laughs> I don't know actually what these are so when I'm lifting it off ah, this is the uh, this is a, a, a badger brush this is the Celian Groom Room 24. This is a limited edition. There's only 50 of these in the world and um, I won this in a raffle at the Gentleman's Groom Room in Dundee and uh, that's who they're made for. Um, as you can see, GR24 and GR stands for Groom Room and Celian is Scots Gaelic for Honeybee and this is a lovely little brush. Very soft. Um, lathers up beautifully. Yeah, nice beehive shape handle. Just really nice. I really like it. Okay, next one. Uh, this is the Parker um, Best Badger, I think it is. Uh, with the four horn handle and the metal. And the weight on this is fantastic. Uh, it's very soft. It had a little bit of scritch to start with, but once it was broken in, it was really nice. It's a really nice brush, uh, a badger brush. Lovely weight in the handle, really heavy. Okay, the next one is the Samog 610. Uh, a bore brush, little blondie. I have it in the undyed bristles and the reason I wanted to get that brush, the reason I bought it like that, um, it reminds me of the brush my dad had. My dad used to leave his shaving brush um, lying around after he shaved and I always remember it had a, a blonde knot. Um, so that's why I wanted to I wanted to get the um, the Samog 610, just the same. 
with the blonde and I have this in the black handle. And the last brush is the Razor Rock Plus Soft. This was the first one to come out, first Plus Soft brush. Um, and you can see, compared to the Italian style handle, it's um, slightly different. That's the reason I wanted to get this, it's a longer handle. Um, but again, these, these brushes, the value for money, um, incredible from Razor Rock and the fantastic synthetic brushes. Uh, I think it's a 24mm knot. That's a Razor Rock Plus Soft. Fantastic. Okay, that's the uh, brushes and razors. Let's go now and take a look at some of the blades I have. Uh, just before we go and look at the blades, I've forgotten about another brush. Uh, I have this one as well, which is the L'Occitane Plisson brush. Uh, it comes in this lovely box and you open it up and it has a nice stand in there and um, you can see that. And here it is. This is the the one that the, um, I guess they all kind of copied after. Um, this is a Plisson um, from L'Occitane, which you can you can pick these up. Um, not a lot of backbone in this brush, but still a nice brush, nice little um, kind of wooden handle. Yeah, very nice, very nice to use. Very soft, soft tips. Well, all the bristles are soft actually. It's a synthetic brush. But um, I just forgot to show you that one. Comes in this nicely packaged box. So let's go on now and look at the blades. Okay, so as you can see, that's the cabinet there. And this top bit lifts up. And there's all my blades. And there's a mirror there. Hello. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, this tin, Cadbury's buttons. Uh, it's empty at the moment. I used to keep my blades in there until they got too much. There's just a, an elastic band in there. Um, I have too many blades now, so I keep them in here. Um, this drawer is kind of lined with um, a furry material. Well, not furry, but it's just nice to keep the blades on nice and soft. So I'll uh, I'll take you around some blades that I have. Astra Greens um, in this bag. Treat Platinum, Feathers, Pulse Silver Super Iridium, Sputniks, Voskhods, Persona Med. Persona Lab Blues, uh, blades various, they'll just be different blades that people have sent me. Supermax Stainless, Treats, Kai, Feathers. These ones here are uh, Supermarket, I think they are Persona Reds branded. Um, the Rapiris Swedish Super Steel, Rapida Super Stainless, the Wilkinson Sword Gillette, Gillette Wilkinson Sword, Bozanos. Darby Blades, Wilkinson Sword, more Sputniks, um, different blades in here, which um, I just put a little piece of paper around it and tape it at the back, so just to keep them all together. But um, as you can see, there's some Gillette Silver Blues in there. Uh, Wilkinson Sword, Bic, more Paul Silvers. Uh, this, I bought these to start in my um, pack when I first started shaving. I ordered these, and these are well, they were branded as Persona uh, Med Preps, but um, yeah, there's nothing really on them, but um, it comes in this little container. I've not actually used these yet. Permasharp, Permasharp, Gillette Nasset Stainless, um, Blades Various, Gillette 7 O'Clock Yellows, Permasharp, Supermax Platinums, Bolzanos, Bolzanos, Feathers, yeah, so that's on my blade. It probably doesn't look a lot of blades compared to some people. Um, I'm not sure how many is left in this, probably about another six packs, maybe, something like that. Um, yeah, so that's my blades. And uh, I like how, I like this um, this little cabinet thing that with the mirror there, it stays up. So that's uh, a look at my blades razors and brushes and we'll look forward to the next installment of the Shave Den Tour which will be post-shave um, creams, aftershaves and post-shave creams, pre-shave, pre-shave creams, 
aftershaves and aftershave bams. So until then, um, we'll see you soon. It may be in another shave video. I don't know how long these are going to take to make. But until then, take care of yourselves and we'll see you soon.